защитник оборонительного плана, но если нужно будет поддержать атак наших нападающих, то я обязательно это сделаю. Uh, he considers himself a uh, two-way defender, uh, and he's very responsible in the defensive zone, but he feels that he has what it takes and what is necessary to help the attack as well. We are mere hours into the Nikita Tramkin era in Vancouver. He's already said he wants to be better than Zdeno Chara, and he has no intention of playing in Utica, which could be a bit of a problem for the Vancouver Canucks because they already have eight waiver-eligible defensemen for next year. Ideally, you would like to see Trampkin play 20, 30, 40 games in the AHL, get used to the North American ice, and then be ready to actually play NHL games. Trampkin, he thinks he's ready right now, doesn't think that there's going to be a significant step from the KHL to the NHL. I guess we're going to see here pretty soon. He's definitely going to get some games. Uh, and what he does over the next month of this season when he's playing with the Canucks is really going to determine uh, a lot on what happens next year. If he does well, there could be a spot for him in the top six, top seven, top eight. If he doesn't do so well, he's going to have a lot to prove. Uh, at next year's training camp to make this team. And if he doesn't, he says he's going to go back to the K, play in Russia, hone his craft until he's ready to actually step right into the NHL. One thing that you can say about the kind of start to Trampkin here in Vancouver, it's making this last month of the Vancouver Canucks uh, season very intriguing.